All right, so hello there. This is uh, Chris with Smokescreen, and I'm here with James. What's and, up, guys? And this is going to be uh, our first podcast, and we're not really sure what this is yet. Um, first off, let me say thank you to Doc Holiday for helping us get this new equipment. So this is kind of a test run here. We're, we're testing equipment and how it sounds, but also throwing out ideas of what this is going to be. We're not really sure yet, so... Um, you may be listening to this on YouTube, you may be listening on SoundCloud or iTunes, Google Play, whatever. Right now it's Smokescreen Radio where I used to do all the Game of Thrones videos and put the audio up as a podcast style. But we wanted to do something more, right? I mean, beyond Season 8, everybody here on this channel knows we're, we're known for Game of Thrones. Right. But we kind of got in that box. Uh, I, I didn't really mean to, you know, years ago. Uh, it's my favorite thing, one of my favorite things in the world to talk about but it, it's going to end this year so uh i've been talking about this for a while doing some kind of podcast style thing we'll we'll add video later when we get a proper setup we're we're going through there's some plans for that too as far as a proper studio space yes so we need to throw that out there right now it's audio we'll probably add video later when we get set up properly right now we're we're relaxing in the living room. Yes, <laughs> you know, we, it feels so good. We're, we're we're laid back in chairs, relaxed on the couch and chairs here, and uh, respectively, and with the uh, the mixer and everything sitting on a little table, and, and these awesome new microphones. Yeah, and doing a test run, <laughs> dude. I'm telling you, <laughs> living rooms never look better, in my opinion. Yeah, that's true. We may just leave it like it's this. fucking awesome. Yeah, it's just uh, if it wasn't for the nasty dog furniture <laughs> you know this <laughs> so, might be i may want to put this on camera but i'm not <laughs> so let me ask you this you said something um that struck me you said uh well i love game of thrones but game of thrones is ending so yes like i'm scared so like with something <laughs> that you love you know it's uh about to die you just say fuck it and move on before it officially dies so like if your grand parent was on life support you just say well let me go out and find some other old person to hang out with <laughs> well no i mean no i don't know if that's a fair comparison <laughs> jesus um no i mean you know we're just know we're planning better, for the future here we are man we're planning we've for the really future. been racking our brains man we, we really have yeah because um, you know we don't know exactly what this is going to be yet the thing is though let's let's get this out here too you know, James joined the channel for for live streams, essentially. And, yeah. Well, or originally, I should say for Q and As. That's right. Yeah. It that's... was just you know, and then you know, James, you started your sports channel, and yeah. then your Dust on the Throne channel. Well, no, excuse me, I had started the sports channel. Yeah. Yeah. Because so the first time you invited me to a Q and A, you that's how you introduced me. Uh, my buddy James, he has a sports channel. Right, Dust on the uh, Throne. Just oh, started it. Yeah, yeah. because I actually didn't do Dust on the Throne right a couple of times. I said daily use of sports trivia. Exactly, because that's all I was at the time. And uh, so, yeah, we did the Q&As, and that, that was so fun, man. Uh, I mispronounced everything. And uh, <laughs> uh, n n right. next thing you know, though, uh, you got me hooked on Game of Thrones. And uh, here we are, man. Doing uh, I do the weekly live streams with you and love it. Right. So the 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 original intent was, you know, you, you know, James, you were joining the Q and A's and then live streams, and then you were kind of the new guy and learned along with a lot of yeah, people that tuned in that, and and that type of thing. But then you started your channels and and all that stuff. So you there's never been an official, um, you know, Chris and James both on smoke screen type thing. Correct. Yeah. That's what what I'm trying to say. So yeah. this is a separate thing. This is a separate playlist on the channel that, that james is absolutely 100 percent involved with right 50 50 whatever you want to In, call it as far as the the business side of things right i guess right. you could say so that's what we want to establish that so there may be a separate you know patreon thing down the road or whatever for the podcast it's, it's, i'm I finally getting adopted it's yeah <laughs> fostered me long enough <laughs> so, yeah i guess i guess that's what you could put it so, yeah, anyway, that, and, just wanted to throw that out there. That, well, and we, that's what we're trying to figure out. We've always tinkered with a uh, a podcast because, you know, with me staying here and some of the conversations we've had, we've we've said, you know, we've left so much good material unrecorded in this house. Yes. And we yes. just believe that if, um, if, if we just had a little direction, 
we could take off, and uh, I think people would enjoy hanging out with us as we discussed something. Right, and and that's the whole idea here. Is so we we did the the side effect podcast for a while, yeah, and, uh, and that ended or whatever. But we still enjoyed that whole process. We enjoyed the topics. We enjoyed something other than TV shows all the time, and that's kind of the box that I want to get out of. Um, right. So I mean, here we we're, we're going to throw it out to you guys some too. You know, as we get to, through some of this, as far as ideas of what exactly it's going to be but the other side of that is we don't want to be in that a box we don't want to be in in a you know in a in a genre that's right it, it, or a set of rules we can't talk about this because you know maybe some people don't like this topic this is this is why it's going to be a completely separate playlist it's a separate show uh branded obviously you know because it's us but at the same time a separate thing and not to say we won't speak about TV shows or movies occasionally. That's fine. That's part of and, pop culture. And it's part of who we are. It's part of who we are. Yeah. Right, exactly. So just to get that out of the way, this is um, not going to be Game of Thrones or Marvel or whatever exclusively. That's right. It, it, it could be about anything. It's it's Yeah, it's really just going to be us. Yeah. You know, it's just Almost. us and guests uh, from time to time. And, and uh us talking about anything that we're interested in anything whether that be you know just kind of current events yeah. or people suggest hey check this out and we react to it we talked about that a little bit love it i love reacting to things um and kind of ranting on them <laughs> you know right. so there may be a little bit of that i don't know we really don't know so we're throwing it out there in the ether so to speak here yeah to let people know what's happening and what we're planning on doing and, and just kind of getting ideas from you guys too. Um, so like you said earlier, James, this, some of our best conversations are just when we're sitting here, I'm done editing at night, you yes. get home from work or whatever. And we have these conversations about whatever. Like, Hey, did you see this video? Yes. Hey, have you, you read that article, whatever. And then we, and then it always spawns something else. Exactly. An hour later, we're talking about something totally <laughs> different, but the whole conversation in between was awesome. Right. And it's like we got into the, the Netflix series, Making a Murderer. Yes. And then we got hooked on that and binged it for two days straight or three, whatever it was. And we actually went on Twitch and talked about that one time um, because on the Twitch channel, I wanted to do something other than gaming too. Right. So this could fit in there somewhere. I don't really know, but... Anyway, the point is, there's other things we do. There's other things we talk about. Well, you know, we're um, we're aware of current events and political things and all that kind of stuff. Um, but anyway, so that that's kind of where we're at. We're just sitting here. Yeah. Um, it's just us and Riddick, <laughs> the uh, the studio dog. I hope um, they can hear the difference in the quality of this equipment because, boy, I sure can. Yeah, this is outstanding. Um, and it, it's it sounds phenomenal compared yeah. i thought my other microphone was really good and it, it is for what it is it is but like you said this is like hd audio it that is was really a, good this point is, this is hd audio so they're going to hear every little sniffle and yeah. and and uh clearing your throat Definitely. or heavy breathing so we got to be careful here <laughs> but um yeah so that's where we're at with this i, I don't know i don't we didn't have a specific topic for this just kind of wanted to throw it out there. Maybe there's something there is that we do want to talk about now. I don't know. <laughs> just, we're just literally testing this stuff out as we sit here in the living room and just chatting. That's right. And we got our buddy Riddick. He's wandering around, as always. Yeah, you'll definitely hear him clicking by for, on occasion. He moves from place to place when he's mad. Yeah. <laughs> He does. <laughs> he just gets pouty, don't he? But I will say, yeah, we, we're definitely going, when we get to a studio thing, and uh, we figure that out as far as the setup here, we'll have a Riddick cam. We're going to have different camera angles. We've been promising him that for a while, yes. and we mean it. And he's got to get it. So yeah. that's going to happen. So, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll mention that really quickly, too. The idea is, in, in my personal life, is I'm trying to get out of this house. Uh, right. A lot of you, you know, guys know, if they watch the live streams, that we – stream from a literally a kitchen table we move into the living room there's no room here right there's no extra room there's no bonus room so i'm in the process of trying to figure that out i may be trying to get out of here in the next couple months right and so that is what i'm looking to do in in my personal life and the main thing obviously in the new potential place is a dedicated studio room 
Yes. So this podcast and other video things related to what I do on YouTube and Twitch and all that has a dedicated space where there's no moving shit around and moving it back right. <laughs> and moving couches and cameras and furniture and all the shit we have to do now. Like we're are, like literally right now I'm on the couch. James is in a chair. <laughs> we have a, an end table here with a mixer and a computer on it recording this and our microphones are strapped to stools. They are. I mean, this is what we're dealing with <laughs> in the middle of the living room. So go to GoFundMe forward slash <laughs> help us get the studio we, lo- we yes. have longed for. Yeah. And, you know, we, we seriously got to think about, you know, if I can't get to that particular place we've been talking about, you know, we know we have a mutual friend I'm, I'm talking to about moving. Right. Uh, th- it may come down to getting some small little location that's really, 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 really cheap. To have some kind of, you know, I don't know. I'm totally down with that. Something yeah. to, to get out a of space. here a little bit of space. A space. We need yeah. a space where we have a nice table. We can put different cameras and camera angles. Yes. And do the whole shit and shebang. And we, I can. We, I want to do it right. Yeah. And I want to. I want to. Put some knickknacks in the shot on my side. You yeah, can, yeah. You, you can have your knickknacks. Yeah, I mean, he yeah. wants his tie dye teddy bear. I want some stuff and his around. Nolan Ryan shit. <laughs> yeah. He's gonna have it. You never know what I'll have. That's right. He wants my to... little Eric Dickerson <laughs> bobblehead. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, no, I agree. I, I completely get that. You know, you want to customize your space and feel. You know, I guess I always think about as far as podcasts go and what we plan to do yeah, is Joe Rogan. We, oh, me ha- we, too. we have to mention Joe me Rogan. Me too. I mean, That's in my, in I can my head as I'm totally saying I totally see it. us doing something very similar where we have guests in studio at some yes, point. Yes, definitely. And uh, we have this nice space and, and somebody pressing buttons for us and, you know, that type of thing and changing camera angles so it's visually interesting and people want to watch the video other than just listen on podcast style, whether it's YouTube or iTunes or whatever. Right. So that's the goal. And we'll be like Joe Rogan minus the weed and add crack. <laughs> right. There you go. Exactly. Free basin. <laughs> yeah, free basin. <laughs> Stuttering. Exactly. Oh, my God. We just watched this documentary last night. It was hilarious. Anyway. We got free basin. We need free basin. Stutter would get worse. It was pitiful. Oh, yes. It was horrible. Uh, an NBA player, actually. It was an NBA <laughs> documentary. That's another thing. Speaking of NBA. Yes. We both love sports. Right. And, and so that could be a topic from time to time for yeah. damn sure. Especially as, you know, different seasons, um, you know, are happening. Like right now we have March Madness and I'm getting ready to fill out a bracket for work or whatever. Not, I'm not that up on um, college basketball anymore like you know we nah, used to be i'm not you remember we used to work at pizza hut yes. uh, we knew the brackets like yes. you, you you pretty much know how to fill them out right now i'm i'm shooting in the dark to be honest with yeah, you. It's, it's, it's just it's just guesswork yeah. you know you you pick you pick duke and carolina in the in the first rounds and that's all you really know right <laughs> in kansas and maybe kentucky it's I guess. crazy man so yeah there's i don't i don't but know yeah as the seasons unfold and and uh new stories evolve and you know, this player does that, any sports scandals or whatever, man. Uh, we, we love talking sports, and uh, I'm sure that's going to come up. Yeah, so that's that's kind of where we're at. I mean, literally, it's just a uh, – this is literally just a brainstorming session. That's all this is. I mean, we didn't have a topic in mind. We didn't say, all right, well, let's talk about this, and then let's, you know, have – let's talk about this particular topic so we can title this correctly. That's none right. Of, none of that shit. This is just – I'm hitting record. Get ready. Yeah, exactly. I said, uh, hit record. That's what he shut, said. shut the hell up for 20 seconds. Yep. So get some silence. Um, I don't want to, because here's the thing for me, um, for, for people that watch this channel, I'm already in too deep. I, I, <laughs> you are. I man. cannot edit anything else. This has to be a free flowing, fun conversation that does not have to be edited, where I can simply sit here and talk, and then the file is done, and I can literally hit upload. You yeah, know, or whatever. Man. So, what a difference that's going to be. Yeah. So, hopefully, we can get the uh, you know get this down to an art form. Well, there, where there's there's very minimal editing, not to take you know so to, so it doesn't take away from other other videos or whatever as the regular YouTube continues. <laughs> so, um, because there will be, you know, Game of Thrones prequels. Yeah, man. That I'm going to be it. into. Um, there may never be another show that I love like Got, but there will be other things I want to talk about on the channel that are, you know, related to pop culture and t- television, all that stuff that I'll continue for sure. Um, have my own book thing going on. Yeah. 
Um, this other book project that I can't really say specifics yet because I don't know them myself is a Game of Thrones related book. So that's happening. So all this kind of stuff at once and plus, you know, this final season is coming up in three weeks, I guess, three, three and a half weeks. God. Gee. And uh, yeah, that's insanity right there. This is insane season. Um, the, those six weeks for me <laughs> are going to be absolutely insane. And, so anyway, and, you know, uh, in the off season, um, though, uh, you, you've really had to grind. Oh, and the grind, it's, it's, I have watched it take its toll. Oh, uh, you know, it's, it's horrible. Um, pretty much, you know, I come in and, uh, Hey man, I'm here, you know, um, and it's always, I'm finishing up this here, you know, and uh, we'll watch something in just a little bit, you know? So if I, if I can stay up late enough, uh, we'll watch something. If I can't, you know, can't, uh, the grind has really been, been crazy. It, mm-hmm. it it has and it and it's taken its toll. And I actually posted on Patreon about two weeks ago, and said, "Forgive me if there's going with there there's going to be less videos in the next few weeks before the Game of Thrones season, because it you know I have to start paying attention to my health. And I've been sitting here for yeah. three almost well technically almost four years. I wasn't full time completely those that entire time. I was still working." So I was getting out of the house and still moving. <laughs> yeah, but you know, you know, you know me personally. Six years ago, I was in MMA shape. Right now, I've I've grown. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> literally, because I've been sitting here and it's just the same thing every day. And burnout is real, and uh, it, it's um, I've got to start paying attention to my health. You're eating, almost eating right, eating better, all that good stuff, and, and exercising again, and all the things that that go into that. So, while we're talking about God, I can use this analogy you're almost yeah. like uh blood raven and and uh yes. you're growing into your computer chair <laughs> exactly <laughs> exactly like the leathers reaching up around and growing through my legs and shit yes. it, his l- hair and his beard's down <laughs> to his navel <laughs> right so <laughs> if they is, didn't see us every week i could pull that off yeah but, that yeah. is very very real it is man the the burnout is a real thing every, i literally said to him earlier i'm worried about you know him getting blood clots like truck drivers do in his legs. <laughs> right. I mean, I mean, no, I'm not saying he doesn't move at all, but he just has he spends so much time grinding in there, trying to you know perfect every little thing because this off season has been more important than the seasons have because you've had you, you, so much strategizing and trying to play the algorithms right. Yeah, yeah, trying to relearn it and yeah. you can't. It's just uh, nothing makes sense anymore. So from yeah, from the YouTube perspective, it's been. It's been the hardest, well, almost two years now yeah. that I've ever faced in, in anything as far as a job, as far as work goes. And don't get me wrong, I enjoy what I do, but it just it comes at a price, and I have to start paying attention and getting the hell up out of here some. And uh, you know, like I said, like you mentioned, I don't, I do, I get up and take breaks, and me right. and it go out and play when it's not fucking raining here. It's like Seattle recently. I don't it know what's been. going on. But, you know, when we go out and play with in the yard and all that stuff, but, I mean, I'm not doing the – I'm not chasing the damn ball. You, you know? That's a great point. I, I need to be chasing the damn ball some. That's right. <laughs> you know, but Riddick point. will not throw to me. <laughs> as <laughs> much as I've tried. I mean, he will toss it, but it, it just doesn't go far enough. Right. For me to, you know, he damn sure will throw. Yes, he does. Uh, and he's a very good receiver, by he the way. He is a – Excellent receiver. Um, outstanding. He runs pass patterns. He does. He <laughs> runs routes and, and does over-the-shoulder catches. I'm telling you right now, he could go out for the Panthers and do better than our current receiver oh, situation. Oh, absolutely. Anyway. Fucking riddle. So, yeah, this has all been taken into account. So, we, you know, we gotta. I have to compromise and find a way to move forward and still do this kind of thing. I enjoy, you know, talking to people, talking about this cool stuff that we do, but um, I have to minimize the workload. Because I don't have an editor. I don't have, we don't have a, somebody in here working the buttons. Right. You know, we can't do like Joe Rogan and say, Jamie, look nope. this up. Um, you know, or, or, you know, here, edit this while I go record something else. It, you know, it, it's it's been a one-man show here for four years but, now. and um, But this has always been on the back burner, the, the podcast, the thing. And, yes. you know, that's why I strategically kept my Tuesdays off because that was the days we used to record uh, the side effect. And so, because we always knew that, you know, we were, we were wanting to do something else. And so here we are, it's finally happening. And it's really cool. Yeah. And, and we're at that place where we know we want to do 
this. We have the stuff now. Again, thank you, Doc. Yes, thank you um, so much. And Doc is a longtime supporter in Patreon and all that good stuff. And we, we initially this came up because we were talking about for our live streams for season eight, we need two microphones. So we're not the bar's not over covering your face and yeah. um it's over the computer where I can see everything that's happening and, you know, controlling the live stream and all that. So that was the initial thought. And then we were like, Well, you know, we're talking about this podcast stuff. If we're gonna get stuff, we might as well go ahead and get it and get the right stuff so we're ready to roll because uh you know that six weeks is going to fly by fast and there will be certainly a lot of wrap-up videos and looking back type stuff and live streams for a while but eventually it's got to go it's just going to end it's going to um at some point so this is the next step this is the evolution uh, in in a way and not that again not that there won't be regular content and videos on other things especially like when the prequel comes and we start getting filming news and and things like that but this is the uh the uh the next step the evolution of something <laughs> we just don't know exactly what that is yet but i think some of our greatest content has been like you said just between me and you yeah um, it has it's, been. it's been on the front porch or sitting in here talking about whatever and nobody ever hears it and and whenever they're um there is a guest they're involved too and it it always flows good and and just some great great conversations and you know we already know that like two or three of you like (laughs) hanging out with us so you're gonna dig this trust me right yeah (laughs) two or three of you yeah no there is definitely a group that will uh you know i think would enjoy anything um and that speaking of that and and you know i started on on the channel a couple months back, or I don't know, it might've been a year now. I don't even know the time. I don't even know what day it is anymore, but interviews, you know, I got to interview a couple game of Thrones actors and behind the scenes and, and stuff like that. And I really, really enjoy that. And you have been wanting to interview people as well. I interviewed, uh, you know, con snow, you did con snow and you want to do some sports stuff and and all that stuff. So I would love to do that here. That would be awesome. Um, that would be outstanding as part of this podcast, whether it's actors or, you know, athletes or whatever may be. Yeah. Um, even other YouTubers and getting, you know, we can, cause we can, we, there's no rules. We can talk about YouTube and the, what it really takes and what's going on in the background. That would be fun. I would enjoy that. So maybe, you know, maybe the first couple of things we, you know, uh, or interviews, I should say, it's other YouTubers people know. That I don't, yeah, would I don't be know. super cool. Riddick, what do you think, buddy? I don't know. He just, he just looks, he just looks pitiful. One thing with Riddick I wish that people could see when you do get a Riddick cam is how he reacts to watching television when there are other animals, especially dogs or wolves. Oh, Yes. Yes, other animals. He gets though. into yes. it. Yeah, yeah. He's staring up at the TV like, "What the hell?" And, and then occasionally talking to him. He does. And and another thing with with him and as far as that Riddick cam goes is he knows when he's being recorded. When you were doing those uh, Riddick doing the predictions, yes, he does. He knows when you're recording. He absolutely does. He is. Uh, I'm not sure if he's camera shy or he's showing out. I'm not really sure which one right. it is. Like right now, he knows we're talking about him, but he rolled over on his back, and he's just letting his nuts hang. <laughs> he it's, loves to do that. He, I think fa- he's teasing me. His, fa- <laughs> his favorite position. So, um. Anyway, I, I don't know. This was this was the this was our first test run. Again, no. Obviously, obviously, we've been all over the place. No scripts, no plan. <laughs> and maybe this is what this is. We just come in here once a week or whatever it's going to be. And, you know, we, we have a, you know, did you hear about this today? Yes. I, I don't know. That's going to be a lot well, of it, too, I'm sure. And, you know, um, I love talking about, you know, things that scare me and, whether it's sharks or ghosts or whatever, <laughs> yes, yes, and uh, you I'll love being you, scared. Yeah, you do. I, I, you know, it's weird. I hate it, but I love it. Right. And I, I don't know if you guys can hear it in my voice because I can hear it through my headphones. The, how stopped up I am. Um, I've been having issues. It's that at night. It's that, co- that cocaine. <laughs> it's too I much. Tell you, you got to stop with the free base. <laughs> and uh, you know, at, at night when I try to sleep, my CPAP. What happens is um, my nose will get congested and I'll end up 
taking the CPAP off. So then what happens is I'll start, you know, having issues breathing and it incorporates into my dreams. And (laughs) so in the course of two weeks, I have dreamt of um, a ghost wrapping my CPAP cord around my neck. Freddy fucking Krueger. Yes. And then the other day when Camden was here, I was screaming for her. I thought I was, but I woke up, you know, and it was barely coming out. Uh, that there was like this demon, like a gargoyle or something on my chest, holding me down. So I couldn't breathe or couldn't move or anything. And, uh, I'm telling you, man, that all that has made me do is go back to YouTube, go back to watching (laughs) ghost videos and stuff like that. (laughs) So anytime we get a chance to talk about stuff like that. And I remember on the side effect, how we, we would discuss ghosts, Bigfoot, different things like that. I look forward to any, any kind of conversations. Yeah, no, I, I've, I enjoyed those. I really did. Um, the com you know, it was those, those kind of, um, m- mystery, yeah. history and mystery. We history call it. and mystery, history and mystery. Some of my favorite stuff to talk about. Um, so yeah, we're not one dimensional here with, you know, TV and books, you know what I mean? We, we, I know I, I'm personally into, I mean, there's not much I'm not into, honestly. That's right. It's insane. Um, like all the books in this house, I've read them all at some point. And you got stuff from sports to history to ancient Egypt to whatever. That's I mean, right. You name it, it's in here. Uh, Japanese culture, martial arts, you know. Gardening. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I, I they're, swear, they're, I thought I saw some kind of Japanese gardening type books or something. You, you absolutely did because I used to do bonsai trees. And, yeah. and uh, I used to have, you know, anyway. But yeah, there's, uh, there's just so much. There's just, it's almost. It's almost not a choice because there's too much to choose from. It, it's it's that's it's almost paralyzing to, the choice we have today. It is. I'll be honest. The internet has cramped both of our book styles. You know, because I see your books that you've had for your whole life, and and I have mine that I've drug around with me, but the, the they don't. You know, it's not growing. The amount of books isn't growing like it should because we have the internet and. Who needs them anymore? And you got have apps like Audible and things like that, you know? Yes. Yeah, they're, the only books now are Game of Thrones related. Yeah. Ice and Fire. Right. I mean, I have new audio books as well, you know, yeah. that I haven't gotten to. Um, I am started the Witcher series. That, that would be fun too, Chris, because we're that age where we kind of bridge the old school three-channel on TV days. Yes. And now. So any night we want to talk about stuff like that and the changes that we've lived through, that would be kind of fun too. That would be a great topic. We, we've talked about that a lot with our kids. Yeah, we because, have. You know, we were, I don't think there'll ever be a generation to see change like we have. Like anything that would happen now, nobody'd be surprised as far as technology goes. But right, I had to explain, I had to show my daughter and explain what a record was or a CD. You know, she came in, when CDs, she were she was born when CDs were almost done. Yeah, and they never knew a world without. Yeah, they were born. We were already burning CDs already. At that point. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So they, they didn't get to go to record stores. Remember, we talked about that just the other yes, day. Just the other day, they never had the experience of going to a music store to pick out your the record that you got for the week or that no. you saved up your money for. Um, they were they don't know a world without an internet or a phone in your hand where you can instantly access anything in the world and, and that's just as, as as used to it as we are we we remember yeah when the, you had to use libraries and pay phones and go places to look things up or uh, you know go to microfilm at the library to look at an old newspaper there's something about that too if you think about it i, I know it's easier now but there is something about physically going, and you almost felt like a a sleuth or whatever. You know what I mean? When you, yes. You're going through the halls of the of the library looking for that specific book, or yeah, in, I mean, half the time the we're research, just finding the damn book <laughs> in the research room, looking at the microfish <laughs> right, files and exactly. all that. That that was cool, man. And they they don't have to leave. They don't have to leave their room. No, it's it's absolute insanity. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, it's a great thing. But it's also like everything else, it, it, you know, it can be harmful yeah. because I don't, I, you know, they don't get out of the house. They don't go, you don't see our, our neighborhoods that we live near or the, the town we live in. You don't see people outside anymore on the basketball courts. You don't see skaters 
and people riding bikes. Not often. You do occasionally. But yeah, you really don't. Like, when I, w- I was younger, even up until, you know, I don't know, 18 years ago when my daughter was born, you could still go out and find a pick. You'd have to wait for a pickup game. Right. And I'm talking about playing basketball with me personally. That exactly. was, that's been my thing. Now, there's no such thing as waiting. You see empty courts. It's They're all empty. Yeah. There's no – you. If you don't take enough people yourself, you're not going to have an actual game. It's it's sad. Yeah, courts, uh, thriving courts, you used to know uh, where they were at are either not there anymore or right. like ghost towns with no Yeah, and, and actually, we were you know speaking earlier about you know finding this new place. As I've been riding around the last few weeks and looking in different areas, I'm I'm passing some of these old courts that I used to play on. Yeah, and and you know, and I'm reminiscing and remembering. You know the days of of uh, where I could still dunk and all this kind of stuff, and picturing us me being out there with all these dudes, they're empty. They're I mean they're they're, they're you know rusted. There's no nets or or whatever. There's no memories being made. There's nothing being yeah. They're just empty. It's like nobody uses these parks anymore. These schools after hours or whatever. They just don't. I mean, I'm sure there's times that I'm not there when there's some kids out there playing, you know what I mean? But it's just insane. You want to take Camden over to the, uh, goalpost, like a weirwood tree and touch it and touch her and let her see. <laughs> right. This is what this used to be like. Yes. Yeah. I know. I mean, cause we, cause everybody has their, Oh, back in my day stories. They do. Cause our parents had them. That's but right. This is truly Honestly, a unique time, yeah, or, or or I should say, our, our generation having the perspective of two completely different worlds. Yes, we do. It, I mean, it really is. Nobody else will ever, I don't think, um, because again, nobody's going to be surprised when AI is a real thing, uh, or or any any kind of technology now. And but we used to be fascinated and blown away when somebody could. You know, had a cordless phone in their house. Oh my God! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, weren't attached you could walk to the outside wall. in the backyard and yeah. talk on the phone. Well, because you were constrained. The neighbors by the, would come look at it. Yeah, you were constrained <laughs> by the cord. It's <laughs> crazy. And then, uh, God, when I was you know seventeen, eighteen, they had the first military style cell phone. It was a brick. You know, they called it they call it the brick. Uh huh. You know, and then the bag phones, and it was just you. That was just cool. Exactly. Like, check this out. I don't have to go use a quarter. And get in this booth here or whatever and use a pay phone. And, and they just went away. And people were like, oh, my God, there's no way you're really making a phone call. And now you're <laughs> saying, we're not going to be surprised when AI is a real thing. I, I know. It's crazy. I remember uh, when the first microwave came into our neighborhood. And I was real young. So, you know, I, I mean, I know microwaves have been around a while. But I still remember the first family that got one. And people, all the kids would gather over there and watch stuff you know yeah cook yeah through the window. It, it really is i mean like you said with the cell phones people would actually let me call my house and test it right right yeah i mean they would die their... standing in sally's backyard <laughs> <That's right>. exactly <laughs> what do you mean in the backyard and i remember the first call i made check this out you know where i'm talking to you from exactly. i'm in my car i'm in my car riding <laughs> down the road or i'm in a parking lot or whatever it was i can't remember exactly where i was but i know i was in my car and they're on the other end going uh-uh. Oh shit! You lying? <laughs> you, you know you you on the court in the kitchen. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, I had it was funny when we went to the Outer Banks a few years back. Um, I had Camden. There was a in that basement of the house we rented for the week we were there. There was an old rotary phone, and I said, "Dial the dial dial the home number. Just oh, see if you can do it." Awesome. She couldn't even figure it out. Simple rotary yeah. phone. You got to go all the way to the end. Let it go all the way back to the end. Let it go. So I made her dial dial a number. But most, I've even seen some videos of kids online, and they don't even pick up the the receiver off the. Off yeah, they don't know to listen to it for a dial. dial tone. They don't know what a dial tone. That's means. right, exactly. So they're used to dialing a number and hitting send. <laughs> they're hitting yeah, that's yeah, cool. Or just talking to your car or whatever. Wow, you know, man. call James. You know, nobody remembers phone numbers anymore either. No, and I remember a few in my head from uh, my childhood. You know, home numbers and and close family. But yeah, I don't now. I'm just as guilty as anybody else. Not that there's actual guilt, but you know what I mean. I don't I remember. Know. I don't know your cell phone number. No, it just I know. says James. I, I know. You know, I don't even know my daughters. It just says Camden. I know. <laughs> yeah. Whenever I put you down as co-signer on all my credit apps. Uh, <laughs> Oh, God damn. And it asks for a phone number. I don't know. Oh, it. no. <laughs> oh, revelations here. I have to look it up. This is the new 
This is the podcast name here, Revelations. <laughs> Revelations. I didn't know I was getting. Uh, I didn't know I was the cosigner on all these loans. <laughs> Your credit card was keep sending me this bad text, and oh he's like, my... "What the hell's going on with my credit?" <laughs> Meanwhile, I keep buying shit. No wonder I can't move. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! There goes the studio. Now you know why. Now you know why we're sitting in the living room in the same old damn house. Now I've been you know here for why James years. keeps saying we can make it here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh, the things you know. Um, anyway, <laughs> I don't know exactly where we're I will, going. I will say, though, this with credit. I remember my first credit I ever got Oh yeah, was at Carolina Tire. You remember there's a tire company, but they used to sell VCRs, car stereos, and stuff you could get on credit. That's like yeah. uh, pulling chicken from, yeah. <laughs> from my cousin Benny. And I freaking uh, I financed a VCR. Uh, on my own name, I remember that. That was crazy. Yeah, I remember being 18 and getting a card in the mail. You know, you go to college and all of a sudden you start getting credit cards in your inbox. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, that that uh, that fucked me up a while. <laughs> <laughs> For a long while. Because you don't think about it being actual. I mean, even though I'd worked since I was 14, you, you, when you start getting credit cards and you're old enough... You, you still don't see the money. You don't think it's real. It doesn't feel real. That's right. That's why so many of our generation got in a lot of trouble. Yes. And hopefully taught their kids better. Um, But I, you remember being in high school, wanting to buy your girlfriend some jewelry or necklace or something, going to Belk and laying it away? Yes. Now, yes. that was fun. And and I did have uh, a couple cards from jewelry stores when you had in-house oh, cards. I yes. guess they maybe they still, I'm sure they still yeah. exist. I'm sure, sure they're still out there. Freedman's, but, Freedman's, box. yeah. I had, I, had a, I had a Freedman's account, exactly. Yep, a exactly. But yeah, it's I, I don't know how we got on the credit cards, but because you're signing my name. That's right. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, I, I mastered it. All that doodling you see me doing while we're doing a live stream, like you're doing right is, now, is me practicing Chris's signature. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh shit! I might never mind. This podcast may not actually continue, now ladies and gentlemen. Now he's wondering why I'm checking the mail every day. I keep telling him his baseball cards yeah, coming. No shit! It's I'm fucking... hiding bills. <laughs> God. Oh lord. Um. Yes. Yeah, so I don't know how we got on the generational thing, but anyway. Um. Yeah. That's. Uh, I don't know where we're at here. What are we at? Um. Thirty-eight minutes. We've been recording. Wow. We've been talking thirty-eight minutes already, and. Yeah, that's that's just how it goes. That I mean, is, man. It flies by. It's really cool. But uh, yeah, so I don't know if this is. Let us know what you think. If you know if this gets put out, interested to know what you think. We're we're talking about possibly what having them suggest things to us. Possibly having a call in line for people to call in. Sometimes we have so many yeah, different ideas. Yeah, we 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 definitely we're talking about for sure having. Um, I know Doc and I were talking. We were just kind of discussing a couple of weeks ago about ideas because we have our, our Patreon calls. Right. And, you know, having Patreons be guests because, you know, we may that. have a topic where, um, let's say it's something scientific and we have a Patreon that's in this field of science or whatever that would be. I would love that. And uh, so that's certainly an option and probably will happen. Um, sure, we would like to do uh, people in the realm of entertainment at some point, you know. I know we personally know a guy who is uh, the son of a used to, yes. used to be a big athlete. That's that, right, you know, stuff, we do stuff like that. So that's definitely uh, definitely can happen. Um, again, I mentioned before other YouTubers or I guess you could say entertainers or um, influencers. Mm -hmm. uh, I have I was thinking about that as well. So I'd, I'd love to do stuff like that. And I mean, just whatever, just whatever is on our mind. Again, no restraints. And, you know, Feels everybody good. everybody won't like every episode. Uh, that's but that's right. just the way a podcast is unless you're specifically, again, putting yourself in a box. You yeah. know, this podcast is about health. This is about, you know, uh, this show or Marvel movies or whatever genre you pick in entertainment. I, I just don't want the constraints of a, um, you know, yeah, there will be occasional topics. Yeah. And, and one topic podcast, I'm sure. Because you kind of kind of keep it on track a little bit, but you know maybe it's 
three or four little things in one episode or, you know, one major one occasionally or whatever. So I just don't want any constraints on well, it. Well, you, you mentioned Joe Rogan in the very beginning. Yes. And, and you, no, there's nobody that can say they love every episode of Joe Rogan. Absolutely. And I don't I'm a watch fan, every episode. I don't either. But I subscribe to him and I listen to a lot of them. And, and then absolutely. I'll pick out clips of, you know, because yeah. like, like we talked about before, we were talking about him the other night. Um, he'll have somebody on there and they'll discuss a current event so it's him and a celebrity, and you're just getting their take on that current event. Right. But I may not care about anything else about that particular celebrity. Yeah, about what that celeb's selling or what yeah. the real reason he's on there. Yeah. You it, might not care about, but they right. might talk about something at some point in the show that you are interested in. So that makes it cool. Exactly. So that's, anyway, that's the the kind of picture I have in my head of what this may look like at some point. And again, the idea is to we'll start off like this, just to just to kind of start and and kind of get our feet wet and see where where it goes, and get some feedback from you guys and ideas. And we definitely want to get to a dedicated studio space and and see what happens um, because I I really enjoy this and I, I really enjoy this type of thing. I've been doing YouTube. You know, April will be four years for me. That's, That's awesome. I thought it was three, but it's apparently four. Uh, if my if twenty twenty fifteen is correct to twenty nineteen, that's right. <laughs> you know, that's, so April will be April will be my four year anniversary. That's really cool, man. And uh, like I said, the first year and a half or whatever, I was still working or two years actually, uh, or close to that, something like that. So I, I've been full time the entire four years. But you know, put my first Game of Thrones video out in April of twenty fifteen, <laughs> and which was episode four of season five. So. That's been a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. I remember when that happened, and it, I swear time flies. It's insane. Yeah. Uh, I was, I was, uh, when I started this, I was skinnier <laughs> <laughs> and healthier. Yes. <laughs> and uh, as much as I've enjoyed it, it uh, that's just changed. And so I, this is this type of thing where it's less, it's more just about the content and talking and having a good conversation and less about editing and making sure screenshots are perfect and exactly you know all this stuff in visual aids it's more conducive to you know being able to focus on you know hey look i got to face it i'm a i'm 44 years old almost yeah and i got to start watching these things so and, and yeah you're looking forward to an hour worth of content that you release you might have an hour and a half in versus an hour of content you release now. You might have what six hours in, or eight or ten. Yeah, it depends crazy. on what it is. Yeah, exactly. So uh, we we record for an hour, and it may take an hour to get it everywhere uploaded. Right. You know, if the thumbnail on YouTube. What a difference that's going to make. And so that's huge. In your and life. and then that could become a daily thing even at some point. Hell yeah. I mean, and I and I'm fine with that. Yeah, um, man, me too. If people enjoy it, and we're and the main thing, we're having fun doing it. That's what matters, and uh, and if we have fun, people will you know they people will enjoy it. Yeah. Some aspect of the conversation, like we the, mentioned before, the day we stop liking to talk, you better be worried about other things. Yeah, it, it, right, <laughs> ex exactly. So anyway, I, I guess we'll we'll cut it off about here. Sounds good. And I mean, we've been you know again, we apologize for being all over the place and not really having a plan. But this is again, it was kind of a twofold a test run with all this great new outstanding equipment it is fantastic doc thanks so yeah much, i mean it, i mean it, i'm in, in my head right now in my earphones it sounds great hopefully I'm, I'm sure it'll come out from the recording software just as good um but yeah it was more of a test run and us just kind of sitting here chatting about the pot we want to be transparent yes. we didn't want to start it and make it so official there's no intro yet you know we don't right. have any music playing yet we don't have necessarily even a name yet we know it's smoke screen the channel um it's smoke as of right now it's set up for smoke screen radio maybe that stays that's mm -hmm. fine i don't know what it what it ends up being called but yeah just a discussion about what we're going to do and just throwing out ideas and getting feedback that's really what this was so what we're looking forward to your feedback and uh, so normally I would say, uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. <laughs> you know, but I guess uh, I don't know how to even close. Thanks for uh, listening. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I guess we'll just we'll just keep talking and we'll just fade it out like we used to do Yeah, with the old was, podcast. You know? So fun. we would just 
keep talking and laugh and somebody make a joke. Right. And then <laughs> the damn thing would just fade off into nothing. So if that's what's happening right now. That's what I was just thinking, you know, dude. Maybe. Just let her, let her fade. That's dude. what's happening. We it's, rock. Just, it's just fading out and, and now it's gone. <laughs>